and we're going to be witnessing the Bull Terrier 2010 Rescue Reunion. How many dogs have you housed in the last 12 months, personally? 12? Well, I'd say in a year and a half, both of us have had 22 dogs. Wow. Melanie, we salute you. Looking at the award that we're going to give to Nancy McKeachin, and I'm wondering if Kim Bebb, Secretary of the Club, can tell us a little bit more about what that award is and then why we're going to be giving it to Nancy. It's just a thank you and appreciation for all the work she does for us. And I'll drop at the drop of a hat saying, bring the dog down, I'll take care of it, taking in dogs who can't, owners can't afford surgery and doing it for us. And we're and finally going to get her here to receive she it, She is right? coming and we're going to present that to her as a thank you. The little tag on the, you might zoom in on the little tag, it says, thank you, Dr. McEachern, for all you do for rescue. And then on the back side, it says, Soro State Bull Terrier Club. And so I'm hoping she'll like that, and I think she will. Where did we get this? This came from Long Beach. Well, we found it at the dog show, but it's made by Loretta Fernbridge, and she's in Oceanside, California. It's really she beautiful. Is, all breeds that she does, and that one just looks like a mini bull, so that was perfect for Nancy. You know, tell me who you guys are. I'm Holly Seaton. This is my husband, Craig. Hi, guys. Hi. We adopted Barney about a year and a half ago from the Central Arizona Bull Terrier Club. His name was Devo, but when we saw him, we said, he's a Barney, and he, he's just a big clown, and we love him. <laughs> Okay, now we're looking at Roxy. Tell us about Roxy. Roxy we got about, just about a year ago from the Sequoia Club here. We adopted her and she has just fit wonderfully into our family. Hi. Okay, hi, my name's Anna Alonso and this is our rescue, Willie. Willie. We got him from the Sequoia Staple Terrier Club and we think he's about maybe two. Now we're, we're Mike and Debbie McGuire. Hi. Manny is a rescue that we actually had another pup that we turned in as a rescue because she was uh, she was just way too much too energetic for us. But uh, they so, said, well, we've got one that we haven't been able to we haven't been able to place yet because he's deaf. Because he's deaf, and he's kind of slow like me. Yeah, and so they said he'd be perfect for you, and so we said, yeah, we'll go we'll, we'll try him and. He's our son now. Hi, my name's Mike. Hi, Mike. My name's Jamea. Hi. This is our uh, rescue, Sydney. She's about close to almost six now. Really? Yep. And she's still got lots of energy. <laughs> Active. How long have you had her? Um, we got her back in May of this year? Yes. And how's she doing? Great addition to the family. Sarah. Mitch. Mitch. The girls? Chloe, Piper, Liberty, and Seth. And Seth. And the girl and the bull terrier? Her name is Honey. Tell her tell us our her story. Um, we got her what, about two months ago. Two months ago. And uh, she's awesome. She's a new arrival then, huh? To us, yeah. We just wanted to put a little reunion together just to get some of the rescue dogs together and thank you all for adopting them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. So, you want to just, we just got some little goodies to give you just as a token of thanks for coming. <laughs> Sydney, we're going to start with Sydney. You want to go ahead and bring her out? Sydney is about <laughs> five years old and she was the owner turn in because she didn't get along with the Mastiff that they had. He's the one that was Dylan. He was Dylan. <laughs> he came from the pound in Casa Grande, picked up as a stray. Aww. They had him for 10 days and nobody came to claim him. Yep, he wants to be hurt. Come on, come on, show off. Yep. Him. He's for Maybe, everybody. What do we think he is, two? Maybe about two. Two? Yeah. two? Yeah. Okay. Young dog, huh? Yeah. And he's just... He is so funny. He's so much fun. He yeah. loves to play. Roxy. Uh, Barney. Barney makes me laugh. Roxy. Yeah. Okay. Just when you're, you know, when you need it. Look at that face. That's when he's, he's right there to make you happy. Um, Roxy's a, a little girl. Hi. Okay. And she's just the sweetest thing. And she likes little kids. And, and 
Even likes our cat. Of about coming out. Um, yeah. Nina's, how old is she today? It's her birthday. It's she's her birthday eight years today, old. And she's eight. Ah. Nina, and Nina came back to rescue several times. Her owner died in 2005. Seven. Seven when the, the owner died in 2007. And the kids contacted me and asked me to take the dog because nobody had room to take her. And, and then when Nina came up and with Kim's nice note on the website saying she's on her last bag of dog food, so much better come and get her. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that um, was the last uh, straw that my husband needed to decide. Um, Danielle called us and said, can I turn this dog into you because I don't have the money to fix her up and everything. So, Honey came up to us and we had her sleep. There'll be no more puppies for Honey. No. She loves to sleep in the shower. <laughs> when it's not on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Unrecognizable bits of plastic and everything were in his gut. He about died, so Nancy saved his life. And, and then we found the, the McGuire's, and he's living with Dachshunds now. <laughs> <laughs> you know those colored tortilla chips oh, yeah. uh, for the Fiesta? Oh, no. Yeah. Like, what can have a bowl full of all that? All the little kids all love him. He and my... That's, that's really neat. And he likes to get in the wiener dog's kennel. Buddy. Oh, oh nice. They have our logo on them, so everybody gets one of those thanks to Dr. Yeah. Nancy. A little bag for everybody, too. Like this, but tough. We really appreciate so much what you do for us. Yeah. 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 So, thank you so much. You rock. Got this for you. I love thank you. you. Oh, that is so. And, well, if you read yeah. the tag, it just says. It says thank you, Dr. McKeeshan, for all you do for rescue. And then on the back it says more staple tags. Oh, I love the dogs, you guys. Isn't that pretty? That's neat. I got a box to put it in. But just okay. I I Let me ask you, Nancy, of all the rescue dogs, which one was the most medically challenging? The last one. Socks. Yeah, because? Because he had a foreign body, two foreign bodies, and they were really difficult to get out of. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Is that nice? I got a ball in there. Hello. Somebody All right, somebody make some noise behind us. Hey, everybody come back here and help us. Okay, everybody look at They're all looking at the door. That's great. Go, Melanie, some people may have been watching this video and decided that they would like to have their own bull terrier and maybe rescue one. And if they're interested in going into the rescue process with our club, how do they go about it? Okay, if you'd like to rescue one of our dogs, you go to Saguaro State Bull Terrier Club. Dot com. You, you click on to our rescue link. It'll give you our procedures on what we require for you to adopt one of our dogs. You can click on the link that shows you the dogs that are up for adoption. If you're still interested, you can click on the link that uh, gives our adoption uh, application. Fill it out, submit it, and we'll get back to you. So we require you to uh, foster the dog for three weeks. See if you like it, see if she likes, she or he likes you, and if it's still a love match, then we follow through with the uh, adoption application. Great. Well, thank you, Melanie, because I know that you house a lot of them, you foster them, and you've Absolutely. done a heck of a great job. Along with Kim Bim. Right. Both of you, you guys rock.